some pennies or a few cents per contact that you con that you generate so you get the address here but they basically run what they call a skip trace and will get you the contact information of the owner of the property right so you see that at 1651 so i could set aside for this city alone a budget that allows me to create a campaign outreach to this 1600 properties every month right so i know that they're vacant i know that they're not owner occupied you know what i don't have maybe I, maybe it's gonna cost me 15 50 cents each to reach out to those people right that means it cost me 800 dollars a month maybe i can't afford 800 dollars a month okay that's not a big deal i'm gonna go ahead and narrow this list down to uh, a little bit more of an airtight list, right? And this is called stacking. You're stacking the criteria. So I can go here, I can go to all residentials only. Of course, I only want all residential for uh, for this particular side of the business. There are people that do this with commercial business and that's another module entirely. But there's more people who own residential than commercial, right? So when I had it uh, residential, I just narrowed it down to 1200, right? And when I go back to property criteria and I say, you know what? I want only single and two to four family. I do not want condo and townhouses. Maybe that's my choices. Maybe what I like is condo and townhouses. I want to buy a bunch of condos and, you know, rent them out using Airbnb or something like that. Then you will select that one. But for now, for this example, I'll do single family, multi-family, two to four. And, you know, not that much narrow down, right? Let's keep going, right? So I'm gonna go under MLS status. MLS again is multiple listing uh, system, right? Multiple listing system. And uh, basically allows us to to set the criteria if we want it on the market or not. That's basically a platform where uh, real estate, licensed real estate agents have exclusive access to list properties and to but because of platforms like this one, uh, PropStream, we're able to get access to the same data. So, but but MLS, you know, you can set this to no. Why? Because I don't want this property listed on the market where it's been they already attempted to sell it to people. It has like probably too much attention that I need it. I don't want to be in a bidding war with the public, right? So I can say no to this one, right? So when I say no, right? Uh, let's go back here. When I say no, I can do close. Now we narrowed it down a little bit, but not too much, right? Not too much. So I can go down to pre foreclosure and I can say, you know what? I want this property, even though they have all of this stuff to be true, I want them to be only property that has notice of default. That means they already served them some kind of papers. When I clicked on that, you notice that everything on the list disappeared. So that's not a criteria I would like to use because there's literally no property on that list that's in pre foreclosure, which is notice of default, right? But I think earlier we had some auctions, nothing, right? So we're not going to use foreclosure. This is clearly not a big foreclosure city, right? So we're going to avoid that criteria. That's fine. That doesn't mean we can't offer. We know that all these properties are non owner occupied and vacant. Did, did I say vacant earlier? I said vacant, right? occupancy status to vacant right so that means nobody is staying in this properties at any point like right now right so let's go to ownership info under ownership info we can set uh, quite a few criteria right we can say uh, properties that are sold we don't want properties that were sold in the last one year we could say something like that right so we could go here and set this to 2020 and we could say up to here and then it narrows it down to 536 so all of this property still fit the criteria but they weren't sold in the last one year why would i do that because if they were sold in the last one year chances are they're not up they're not they're not interested in a sale right now right so i can go back to filters right so again now i've narrowed down my list so i can set aside 250 dollars to run campaign to reach out to this owners and basically use that to extract out the distressed owners, the ones that they're kind of tired of owning the property, right? So I'm gonna leave you at that for now. I'm gonna come back here and continue to play with this and you're gonna learn a lot from me with using the software. This, use, this software is a very powerful software that will make you a lot of money, right? It will make you a lot of money. The least you can do is uh, basically go ahead and give it a try, you know? Um, 
you can see the link at the bottom empirebigdata.com uh, give it a try and then uh, and see if it's something you want to keep I don't know how much they charge for it after the seven days trial but I think it varies from time to time so just go check it out uh, since it costs you nothing to do that right now and then uh, you can also come back here and ask questions specific questions on how to use it and things like that I will continue to uh, do a little short tutorials here and there on how to use it if that makes any sense all right all right so now in the news uh today let's see what's gonna i like to kind of review some of the stuff that's going on in the news um uh, because um we're part of the news we have to pay attention to what's going on in the news uh let me see here by the way if you if you don't follow me um follow me at uh, italksb right you want to make sure you're following me at italksb on 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 uh, not to, yeah on twitter as well but also on instagram so you can follow me over there and uh let's see here not this all right let's see yeah there's a there's some news here that i feel like we should definitely review let's see all right so we we need to cover things like finances we need to cover things like um just finances in general um business finances mindset listen this business is 90 percent mindset and 10 percent skill set if i want to be nice i'll say maybe 80 percent mindset 20 percent skill set right and um there's going to be time right there's going to be time in this business where let me see one second here where you feel like um you don't want to do it even though you know exactly what to do you just don't feel it there are going to be businesses that you start that you fall off you know because life happens and uh you know one of my mentors used to say there are three types of people in this world there are people let's see here there are people who life happens to there are people who make things happen and there are people <laughs> you know there are people who um will say what happened right so obviously we want to be the middle one right the one that makes things happen and that's not that's easier said than done because life happens you know that's just a fact of the matter you know so there's something called the santa claus rally basically what it means is that uh, the market the stock market you know takes off and it kind of does a run after christmas because people are in such good spirit something like that you know i never really got the full grasp of it but so you can see this headline says santa claus rally is off to best start in 20 years uh, all right so that means the market hasn't done well in about 20 years when it comes to right after christmas like on the, the business day after christmas here's what history says about the stock market's performance when rally starts this well um, so first of all let's let's take a look at uh, at the market let's see let's go to finance I think I can see from finance easily. I use um, Think on Think or Swim personally uh, for my stuff, but I just want to be able to see what's going on.